Wednesday, June 10th, and tonight we spend a few moments delving into Psalm 12. One of the things I like about the book of Psalms is the diversity and the variety of Psalms. I've always said that no matter what your emotion, you can find a Psalm for it. One of the things that perhaps is difficult for me about the book of Psalms is sometimes those Psalms convict me of things I would rather not um, consider or face. And as I've been spending a little bit of time in Psalm 12 today, I would say that's true about this particular Psalm. It's a Psalm for help. And the psalmist cries out right away and says that, help me, Lord. And then the psalmist goes on to talk about um, evil, particularly the evil of words and the power of words to inflict damage and to do harm to one another. And so makes the case for that at both the beginning and the end of the psalm and in the center of the psalm, we will hear the Lord's voice speaking out, reminding us of what's most important. I find myself somewhat convicted about the psalm because as it's been, it seems like for quite a while in our world, um, we disagree about a lot of things. And it's always so easy, and I'm gonna speak for me, it's always so easy for me to um, look um, critically at people who have a different opinion than me or who see the truth differently than me or don't see things in the same way that I do. And I always think how they're wrong. And particularly on social media, like Facebook and something gets posted and I'm like, ah, they just don't get it, right? Or that's just so wrong. And then sometimes I see things um, posted about someone or something that I have believed in. And my understanding of something is uh, shaken or disturbed. And I don't want to believe that. Oh, that can't be true. Or that's not that important. And so I'm quick to dismiss or defend or um, to minimize those things that um, I have that fit into my world view or perspective and on the other side quick to criticize or um, judge or make fun of whatever it is those things that I don't disagree with you know what I'm trying to say I I'm guessing you probably do um and it's it's human instinct uh, one of the commentaries I was reading about this psalm said it's it's um natural for all of us to want to deny reality or make reality in our own image. And these days it's so hard to, to know, right? What reality is. Pick any topic of the last few months, any topic. And we get mixed messages. Uh, the coronavirus is an excellent case in point because it's been changing since the day we first heard about it and what it means and whether or not there'll be a vaccination and whether or not that will be able to be effective and what exactly is the um, rate of infection and how dangerous is it? And, and it goes on and on, not because anybody's necessarily trying to sway us one way or another, but because we're learning and we don't know and because others also try to sway us one way or another in both directions. And that's just one example, of course, of many. And so I struggle with the Psalm. A long way for me to say I struggle because I think it convicts me as well. I always want the truth to be what I think it should be, and it's difficult for me to hear um, God's truth sometimes. I want it to be my reality, and I may not always like God's reality, and so it's important for me to hear scripture and to hear scripture like this particular psalm that reminds me of the difficulty of words and the difficulty of um, wanting the reality to be my own, yet God coming back and saying, this is what's important. And what you're going to hear, of course, is what God says is the poor and the needy. That's what's important. That's what and that's who we need to listen to. 
And that is great truth. And often the poor and the needy and the most vulnerable are the ones that we are least likely, that I'm least likely to listen to. And so again, this is a psalm that I would say that is convicting me tonight. And I share it with you. Psalm 12. Help, Lord, because the godly are all gone. The faithful have completely disappeared from the human race. Everyone tells lies to everyone else, and they talk with slick speech and divided hearts. Let the Lord cut off all slick talking lips and every tongue that brags and brags that says we're unbeatable with our tongues. Who could get the best of us with lips like ours? But the Lord says, the Lord says, because the poor are oppressed, because of the groans of the needy, I am now standing up. Another transla translation says, now I will arise. I will provide the help that they are gasping for. The Lord's promises are pure, like silver that's been refined in an oven, purified seven times over. You, Lord, you, Lord, will keep us, protecting us from this generation forever. The wicked roam all over the place, while depravity is praised by human beings. Yet you, Lord, will indeed keep us, and in particular, Lord, you will keep the oppressed and the poor and the needy. And for this, we give thanks. Have a good evening.